Harry Kane, he is still without a title, but is he responsible for Bayern's problems? The England striker swapped lowly Tottenham for perennial winners Bayern Munich last summer in the hope of finally securing some silverware. Kane's hopes of ending his title jinx were dashed on Wednesday after Real Madrid came back strong to beat Bayern 2-1 at the Bernabeu to secure their place in next month's Champions League final. This means that Bayern will end the season without a title for the first time in 12 years, while Kane's wait for a title of any kind continues. The 30-year-old, who made his first team debut on loan at Leighton Orient in England's lower league in 2011, is yet to win any major honours at club or international level. Prolific in the Premier League, the former Tottenham talisman is second in the division's all-time top scorers list with 213 goals, and Kane has seamlessly transferred that goal prowess to the Bundesliga, where he has scored an astonishing 44 goals in 45 appearances across the competitions. 36 of these matches came in just 32 league matches, but Bayern's dominance of the German league shield was broken by a Bayer Leverkusen team that has yet to taste defeat in any competition this season. They are 15 points behind, unthinkable for a club of Bayern's stature, and even second place is not certain, with Stuttgart just two points behind the team with two games remaining. Bayern won 11 consecutive league titles from 2013 to 2023 but will end 2024 empty-handed. Already a dominant force domestically, Kane's addition was supposed to expand the German club's empire into Europe, adding to their six European Cups. Kane's Champions League contribution to his new team was significant eight goals and four assists are testimony to that, yet Bayern fell in the semi-finals, the first time they have gone that far in Europe's premier club competition since they last won in 2018. 2020 the Bavarians' retreat was tantamount to giving up two late goals in Madrid. Thomas Tuchel removed Kane, who had earlier provided an assist for Alfonso Davies to put Bayern ahead in the equaliser, in the 85th minute. Real striker Jocelyn scored in the 88th and 91st minutes. Substituting Kane appeared to change the pace of the match with Bayern taking control, but Tuchel told DAZN TV that the striker was unable to continue. Tuchel said, he was unable to continue. He played with back pain and was unable to continue, and his back froze. Losing in such a heartbreaking fashion to a team that deals almost exclusively with heartbreak is no real shame. What is even more worrying is the way Bayern was eliminated from the German Cup by third-tier Saarbrücken in the second round only last November. The Cup is always at the bottom of Bayern's priority list but the manner of defeat and the level of opposition will only serve to highlight Bayern's shortcomings in the lower spotlight this season. Kane played no part in the embarrassment, and played just 30 minutes as a substitute in Bayern's 3-0 Super Cup defeat to Leipzig, in his first match for the club. It would be a huge leap to blame Kane for Bayern's woes or suggest he messed up the winning formula. The ambiguity that Kane makes Bayern better while simultaneously weakening them is curious but it ignores several factors. Real Madrid's indefatigability and Leverkusen's undeniability of being vastly overachieving helps explain how Bayern missed their key targets, but the failures of those around Kane are perhaps more telling. Bayern's second-highest scorer this season is Jamal Musiala with 12 goals while Leroy Sain was the only player to collect more assists than the eight provided by Kane in the Bundesliga, highlighting the team's reliance on the England captain. Tuchel's disagreement with Bayern's executive staff appeared publicly throughout the season, which had some impact on the players. The German will leave soon. Zero for four titles doesn't read well on any striker's CV, and that stretches to eight if you take into account the finals Kane lost with Tottenham and England. His critics will enjoy using these numbers against him, but Bayern's hierarchy will have seen enough of Kane's first season to be confident that their investments will pay off in the future with more titles and trophies.